Hi, hi, welcome to One Word Today. I'm Sophia, your pilot in the universe of Chinese. We are going to continue our exploration in one more Chinese expression a day. And for August, I want to make it a light and fun uh, by using two characters to make meaning. And those characters all share the same first character, which is Sheng. And Sheng has its base meaning, that means life, which is this grass symbol growing growing has to have the root in the soil that's Chinese definition of life and from that life it came all kinds of meaning as you can see the uh, Google Translate uh, if you just put one single Chinese character in there Sheng, it will pull up this many uh, so today I'm going to pair it with Pa in Sheng Pa okay as a Chinese language user born into this language and learned simplified Chinese it's I never think of language in the level I'm thinking of now of how this language was um, make meaning by piecing symbols together and why the language creator intend to create a meaning by using two symbols. I mean, two, three, uh, X number of symbols combining them. Like how this composition of different symbols work together to create like a derived meaning. So there are some basic, like a Lego blocks, the building blocks of Chinese characters. And then it will piece together into a bigger meaning, more specific, right? And then once that single character was stabilized, just like a sheng pa, the two of them can be paired together to create another um, layer of meaning. So this de derivation of meaning, meaning generation. Uh, uh, the Chinese character we use just very few. I forgot how many, I haven't searched out that, but just a few hundreds. And then just from this few hundred symbols, tinker together, assemble them together in different combinations. And then it's multitudes and multitudes of meanings coming from it. I, I think that's the fun of it. That's what I'm discovering here. And the pa, I use it, I never think about it. Why? The left side is a heart, okay? It will say, okay, fear. It's a sense of heart. <laughs> I mean, the feeling from heart. Okay, I'm sold. But the right side is by and by. Right now it's a pa. We cannot even say it's it's just sound maker <laughs> because it's a pa. It's, it's not exactly pa now, right? And this by means white, heart, white, or white heart. That's a Chinese definition or depiction of fear. And I find it interesting. Um, maybe you can come up with your theory as well. Why the color of white when it pairs with the sensor or the feeling symbol of heart, this two become fear. Why white is fear? In our contemporary symbols, I guess white is associated with sanitization, at least at the hospital, like the, the gowns of in a hospital I grew up with, uh, like doctor wear white gowns, right? So white, and also when I grew up, um, we talk talk about bai se kongbu. It's a white colored horror. So somehow in our culture, I haven't seen it in 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 English culture because in English white is associated with angels, black with devils, right? If we have this black and white, simplify the whole world into this two non color, non color. Actually, they are achromatic, right? Uh, one is absorbing of all the color, like black. One is not absorbing any color, reflect all, that's white. Then this opposing two, if we simplify, one is angel, one is devil. And then why white in Chinese culture? It's associated with fear. I don't have the answer, but I'm telling you <laughs> that Chinese make make the fear symbol from this too. And I never thought about it. I just took it for granted. So white heart. 
in Chinese means fear. And okay, the white symbol, a little bit. White symbol came from, it's a sphere. And then with one horizontal line in it, it's the energy from the sphere. Okay, that particular sphere we're talking about, it's not self-reflected Earth. It's what we look at as a big and a bright, the biggest bright as a solar in the sky, the sun. So that's Chinese sun symbol. And then what was one, this pointer is one sun ray. So this means the light emitting, escaping the sun. Of course, like we're, we're in, the, in the influence of sun. So the whole thing is, it means the light from the sun. And that's the definition in Chinese to depict the color of white, color of sun or the light from the sun. Okay, light from sun, everything, I, I feel at least in contemporary understanding the sun means positive, means life, right? It, it means light. It's, if anything, it's probably closer associated to heaven, to good stuff. But in Chinese, the white color, when it pairs with heart, that makes you fear big question mark. Okay, so I translate as afraid, sheng pa, means this sense of fear generated uh, in your heart, of course. So this generated fear, it's because pa is something like come into a, your awareness or consciousness, then that's you, you feel the fear. If you don't feel it, there's no fear, right? If it doesn't come to the front of your mind, you probably don't feel the fear. So sheng pa is on the one hand, that means you, you start to feel it, the fear. That's the sheng, like creator. So from no fear to fear, that transition, transition of status of sense, right? So in this case, it's a pa. So it's a creating, <laughs> It's not your intentional creating, but it appears, okay? This sense of fear occurs, that's sheng pa. And uh, the second way of reading is this sheng pa is, um, this sheng in this case, it doesn't mean generate. It almost means by chances. Um, hmm. I don't have a good other example coming to my mind right now, uh, but this sheng means it's not certainty. There is a high chance that something fearful is going to happen. So that's sheng pa. Sheng pa also means uncertainty. It doesn't necessarily mean directly the fear. It means there's a certain chance that something negative is going to happen. So that's how when Chinese use sheng pa, it means chances are, it's kind of an ominous, you know, <laughs> warning sign for you, like sheng pa, something bad could happen. So that's sheng pa. It's, it's afraid slash uncertain, or give you a, a warning uh, ahead of time. So that's, that's sheng pa. So I'm using um, Ex Machina, uh, this movie I just watched recent, recently, and I feel probably this could, I can map this afraid concept onto this movie or vice versa. Well, yes, I map onto this movie. I associate this concept of afraid with Ex Machina. And if you haven't watched it, I highly encourage you. And if you do, you probably can um, understand, but basically this is about a machine human created a machine intelligence. Okay, intelligence is just intelligence, right? But when you put it in a mechanical, walkable, talkable, um, communicable, and a pretty face on top of it, the the, the scale or the, the impact, what it can does to us, back to us as humans, you know, <laughs> increased exponentially. It's not just, what we call AI as abstract term. Um, like it can calculate something fast, sure, sure, sure. Uh, but it can also deceive and all that. Um, so this afraid probably captured in this 
this uncertainty. So it, it does cause fear for something unknown. It is, you know, disturbing. <laughs> it could generate sheng pass, this creating fear. And a second reason I choose this is because the lighting on the face and uh, the structure, a lot of the pieces, the metal pieces on this mechanical looking body um, reflect white light. So this white heart, this pot concept represented by white heart is probably shown on this, you know, light reflecting face that this is something that could, could generate white heart, white feeling heart kind of freezing heart, I guess. Um, that's the fear, um, fear incurring, is that kind of fear, you know, fear generating um, sense of feeling. All right, catching to the currency of thinking about what would I do with Sophie? See you another day.